wait, that was when I realized that spinach has way more vitamin B12 than cocaine. Mm. <laughs> I've been trying to be healthier too. I felt a yeast infection coming on, so I looked up some home remedies online. Oh, I've read about those. Like a dab of tea tree oil or coconut oil or some other oil? Yes, just like that, except it's a clove of garlic that I make a bunch of tiny cuts on so the juices really ooze out and then I put it in my vagina. Excuse me? Oh yeah, it's all natural and the antibacterial properties of the garlic help prevent sickness down there. Lily, your vagina's self-cleaning. It doesn't need you to put anything extra inside. I try and lead a healthy and holistic lifestyle and that applies to every part of my body. Oh, oh my god! Whoa! Put that away! No, no. not back in! In the trash! Ew! Lily! Your vagina has a delicate pH balance. It doesn't need you putting unnecessary things in there. That's why I just steam mine. How long has that been there? How can it help you if it's not inside you? This simmering pot is full of herbs that revitalize and rebalance my girly garden. Steams me open like an envelope. Look, we all agree with society that something must be done about our dirty, nasty vaginas. Don't forget ugly. That's right, our dirty, nasty, ugly vaginas. But that is not the way to do it, Janie. Making your lady purse damper is only a way to make bacteria flourish. That's why afterwards I use a vaginal vacuum to hoover up any residue, and that restores my yoni's youthfulness. What the hell is a vaginal vacuum? That is insane. Can we please just leave our badges alone, okay? Oh. <laughs> Just a little afternoon sext from my boyfriend, Brad. <laughs> Ever since I got a jade egg for my jaded little egg sack, my fertility and virility have been off the charts. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've heard about those little jade eggs. We don't need to see. We get the picture, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Have been in you this whole time? I don't think putting a giant rock in your poly pocket is gonna improve your sex drive. Don't those things cost like $100 and they're impossible to clean? My steamer is a home remedy. And my garlic tampon is a delicious garnish. No, it was $300 and I've never cleaned it. <laughs> oh my god, Chad. Tess, are you okay? Was it something I said? You guys need to stop messing with your minges, okay? Just leave them alone. None of the things that you're doing achieve any of the effects that they say that they will. In fact, they are making it worse down there, okay? Just because some new agey product comes out promising you the moon and stars does not mean that you have to try it. I am feeling really faint from this conversation. Or it might be from the live bees that I let loose in my clam trap. Live what? bees? Multiple hives of bees to make a new queen bee, which then creates royal jelly that has the essential nutrients I need to boost my beef taco. Aren't you getting stung? Oh, yeah, I am very allergic to bees, but this will really help my get those plump bee stung <gasps> lips that I have been dying for. Ah. Jess, we need to get you to the hospital. Yes. No, I think I'll just die here. At my funeral, put me to top, no bottoms, so that the world can see the huge holistic effort I put into my privates. Promise me, Katie. Yeah, I will. Hey, it's Lily. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout for the low price of five items off the dollar menu per month. You do the math. You'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. To chat with us live in the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like Troopers. Set I'm sorry, a course for the Dread Cruiser. Set sorry. a course for the Dread Cruiser. Set a course for the Dread Cruiser. Sign up for your free trial today. Did you do the math from earlier? And if you did, can you tell me how much it was? Because I'm bad with numbers. Five, five, ten.